Say, kids, what time is it? Howdy, howdy time! Oh, well, howdy, duty, boys and girls, and howdy, Buffalo Bob. Well, howdy there, Mr. Duty. And say, boys and girls at home, and kids here in the gallery, now stay right where you are, kids, because you're going to see Howdy Duty stop Mr. X's fadoozler with our sensational new invention, the switcheroo. The last time you saw this CRT tester, it was connected to the television picture tube, and I couldn't get anything to work. Uh, I mean, I couldn't get to cut off to adjust or anything, and I left it cooking. I was going to let it cook all night. Well, I came out at 1 o'clock in the morning because I don't like to leave electronics, especially older electronics, going while I'm sleeping, so I made it a point to get up at 1 o'clock in the morning, and I came out here, and I'm glad I did because there were wisps of smoke coming up out of it. And uh, it was I shut everything down, and I opened it up, flipped it over, and two of the 3-watt resistors were almost fried out of it. And uh, the uh, uh, power transformer was also hot. Well, that was the end of that deal. So until we found out what the problem was, and I say we, I'm talking about me and my mentor, Brendan, up in Detroit, because I contacted him immediately and said, you know, could this picture tube had been drawing so much current that it just caused a problem. He said, no, no, not, not that. Something else is wrong with the test set. So we spent some time, you know, uh, going through the test set over and over, you know, measuring this. And we didn't have a schematic, but Brendan came through. Brendan found a, a uh, user's manual and a schematic on it, and he bought it, and he sent me a copy on, on, uh, on uh, CD, and, but he emailed me the schematic. We worked together, and we finally found the problem. The problem turned out to be this pot right here, which was right here, which was the black and white and red cutoff pot. And uh, it was shorted. So my buddy Brandon, he says, I happen to have an old test set, and it, it, I'll take out one of the pots from it, and I'll send it to you. So while he did that, I went ahead and moved all the pots over one position. You know, this one to here, and this one to here, leaving this one empty. And that's where this one will go right now. I'm, I'm fixing to solder that baby in. And once we get it... Uh, soldered in and hooked up. We're going to test it and see if the resistors that I replaced inside this chassis again get hot. I hope they don't. I don't think they will. We've checked everything we can check. But, you know, you never know with this old test equipment. So we'll see. Stand by. Now here's the best part. Meanwhile, while the other tester was down, Brandon he came through again like a like a big dog. He's just he's just really. I mean, the guy has been just a just a boon uh, to this uh, television repair right from the very get go. He sent me his B and K four hundred tester, and he said he had about a half a dozen of these things from his old radio repair days. And he sent it to me, and he said, "John, hook this up uh, until we figure out what's wrong with your tester." This was right in the beginning when we first discovered the tester problem. The RCA tester problem. And he said, go ahead and hook that up to your TV, picture tube, and uh, we'll figure out uh, maybe you've got a good tube, bad tube, whatever. In the meantime, until we can figure out what's wrong with the other one. I said, okay, that's great. So it, in the mail it came. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, turn it on and show you the results we got. Now here's the deal. This is a, if this light lights right here, it shows a short on the heater. And uh, what we're looking for here is this light to light up first. Once I turn this thing on. This is the on off switch here. And I'm going to turn it all the way up to halfway. Right there in the center. It's going to be just about like that. And then we're just going to sit and wait for this light to light and then a little while later for this light to light. Now if they both light, that means the tube is functional. It is emitting. So let's find out what's going on here. Here we go. 
the light comes on and you'll see we do have a filament lighting over there I'm going to turn out this light let's see what we get here we can make it a little easier let's see what happens here there's one light on and come on second light I know you're there somewhere it's glowing it's glowing what I'm looking for is half a light this is a half a light and there it is it's flickering she's coming on there she goes and she's looking good well there you go that tells us that our our tube is emitting and the only problem we're having uh, after it's been lit up a little while if I flip this knob to uh, if I flip this knob to emission and press the emission button I should get about 300 but I'm not quite getting that so the tube is a little weak let's see if I can get it right away here that's a little bit weak it hasn't fired up yet it hasn't hasn't been warmed up enough but I've been getting around 215 and then it'll go back down to 200 and what I need is 300 minimum but Brennan says we'll take care of that later right now you've got a pitcher tube even though it's only going to go up to about 200, 215, you have a viewable picture uh, on that tube once you hook up the chassis and if everything works. What? Oh, a Clarabel, come here, would you please? Now look, uh, no, over here, Clarabel. I said, I, I, I want to find the princess. Now look, the princess has got to find out about this. All right, let's try it one more time just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Okay, into the emission position, press the button. I'm looking for 300. It's not not quite. There you go. Look at that. She's shooting at about well, about 215. About 215. Now after a while, she'll kick back down to 200. Now here's what the deal is. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut this one off. We're going to put this pot here in the other one, and I'm going to do a test with that one and see what the two how the two compare. It's going to be fun. Remember, boys and girls, it's their duty and privilege to vote. Make sure that mom and dad do. And now it's old time movie time here on the Howdy Doody Show. And kids, we're going to show you the rest of the movie we showed you yesterday about our buddy, Franny Hines. The pot has been replaced, and when I turned it on, the resistors that I put in there to replace the burnt resistors did not get hot. And you can see that our current jaw has gone way down. It's almost half of what it was earlier. So, I think our problem might be solved. And I have it hooked up here already to the tube. You can see the filament is glowing, or the heater is glowing, I guess I should say. So let's go ahead and test it out. Alright, now the way this thing works is you uh, press your, uh, after setting your line, I mean, plugging it in, checking your line voltage, then you go ahead and switch this up to the, the uh, filament, or the heater uh, voltage of your picture tube and in our case it's 6.3 volts and we go ahead and press this heater button down and adjust this button right here until we get 6.3 volts right there so let's see what we've got all right it's right on 6.3 volts just to just right all right now the next thing we're supposed to do is press the heater uh, let's get all these buttons up first okay next we're supposed to press the heater cathode button the HK button Incidentally, this heater and line button right here, let me see if I can get this lamp over here where you can see it. It says heater on the top and line on the bottom because you use the same button to test for your line voltage. And then when you turn on your, uh, your filament or your heater voltage, which is right here, once you turn on your heater voltage, then you press the button again and it becomes the heater adjust, which you uh, go up to 6.3. Or whatever, you know, it goes up to 8.4 volts, 12.6, 13.8, all the way from uh, 2.3. Anyway, we'll go ahead and test it now. Uh, we've got the heater voltage set. Let's press the uh, heater to cathodes. What we're looking for, we don't want the needle to drop down on heater to cathode. And we don't want the needle to drop down on the G1 test. We don't want it to go down that way. We want it to kind of stay right about there. If it's going to drop down, it's just going to be a little bit. Heater to cathode, here we go nothing that's good now G1 
Nothing. That's good. Now we're going to adjust the cutoff, which is the screen grid, actually. We press the cutoff button, and it says to adjust it up two of those little divisions you see right there. So let's go ahead and adjust the cutoff button here. And adjust it, get the cutoff knob. We adjusted it to the right, to the right, to the right. Nothing's happening. It won't adjust. I needed to go up at least two divisions. I've got it maxed out. Well, it says in that case, if you've tried to adjust it and it wouldn't adjust, come over here. First of all, we turn this back down. It says, come over here and switch this switch to G2 high position. All right, we can do that. Now, let's see if it'll adjust up two divisions. There, there it goes. Two divisions. One, two. All right, now all I have to do is hit the quality button and leave the cutoff button down. And let's see if we can get some green out of this baby. It is in the green. You know, folks, I'm beginning to get pretty darn confident that this old TV is going to play and going to give us a picture. I've already said I think we're going. It's got a good tube. And I'll tell you just how confident I am. Look at here. Look at here. The Honeymooners. 39 episodes on 5 DVDs. <laughs> That's how confident I am. I cannot wait to watch this on this.